you guys, what's up? Today we have a 2014 Thomas HGX with the uh, 6.7 Cummins ISB. This bus is an HDX. Not too often do I make a video about these, so I figured I'd do it. Originally from Manchester, Connecticut. They uh, uh, relocated here in Vernon. Uh, they were in Tallinn for a bit. This bus has some particular issues with corroding and the wires. Ah, uh, down there, I guess, some problems. You can see the Cummins engine. All right, thank you guys for watching. are like bugs. Yeah. Like I, I feel like things seem farther away in these mirrors than I'm used to. It sounds like a city bus. See like yeah, I'm serious. I'm not kidding. That is an actual fact. I know it to be. So where do you want to take me? I don't know. Where do you want to go? I don't know. <laughs> do you want to um, go like um, 67 and then you can go to the commuter lot there and I can take like a video around it. Yeah, of course. And then we can just like uh, yeah. figure it out from there, I guess. We can do that. I this do is, think like these buses look like little bees. That's my cousin's truck. He, says, he calls road. it the bee bus. They, they I would like it if the seats weren't like yes or a, a roadblock. Mm -hmm. I mean, these seats like it gives my kindergartners and elementary kids all the more reason <laughs> to stand up. You know what I mean? Yeah. And then just... You just taught me something! <laughs> and then 
Yep, that's how you do it. I could not find them. Why would I look there? <laughs> Why would I touch there? They just wanted to put them in an inconvenient spot. Oh my god, I'm used to being like here or here. I'm like, okay, I don't know where they are. <laughs> this yeah. bee. That's fantastic. Thank you. Wait till you get into the brand new ones. <laughs> well, Oops. I think the one uh, Diane was telling me the other day, the, the ones that I guess we're getting in are like, I don't know that they're brand spanking new, but they're like she said, they only have like seven or eight thousand miles. I'm like, what is that? Oh, okay. yeah. I'm like, what is that noise? Yeah, that's my phone. Similar, they all have different 
traits. Yes. Like some of them are gonna be a piece of crap. Yes. And some of them are gonna be like cool. Yeah. Like this one, it's nice, but on the highway it's a piece of crap. You saw this too, yeah. real. Yep. Like the Freightliners. I didn't mind driving them. They were they were okay. They weren't horrible. They had a good turning radius. Actually no, they had <laughs> But the the shake on those, oh my god, it was just horrible on the highway. But I'm a fairly easy going driver, I'll drive whatever you throw at me. But like this is I mean how quiet this is, I I love how quiet this is. I think you're gonna like the new one then. I hope so. Because I tell you, February can't get here fast enough. <laughs> Not that I mind my bus, I don't. I actually like my bus. 631. Yeah, I think my bus is, is a good solid bus. I don't have many issues with it. Maybe we'll have to do our next extravaganza and show YouTube your bus. Right! They're gonna be like, Ooh. My bus is clean. They're gonna be like, Ooh. I wash windows. <laughs> my windows are up. <laughs> I hate it. I'm like OCD. Like, that shit pisses me off. Close the goddamn window. It's gonna be like 18 You and like my bus. Morning. You and like my bus. My bus. Probably a shit box. Yeah. <laughs> the windows fall down. Yeah, that's enough. I would not be okay with that. Yep, that would drive me insane. The windows just go whoosh. Yes. And it's no. so cold. Oh. Like that kind of surprises me that East Windsor has kind of crappy No, uh, that's Tallinn. Oh, Tallinn. That's right. Tallinn. Well, Colin has the bottom of the barrel. Oh my god. East Windsor has really nice buses. They do? Yeah. Their oldest bus is like 2012. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's not too bad. But they get new buses every single year. Oh. So it just like replaces them. Because I think our, our fleet is probably like 2010. Yep. Like 2000, maybe a few 2009s, maybe a few. And 11 and 12, but. No, the, your bus is just as well. Yeah. Yeah, well, we got those a few years ago. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, because they replaced the Tallinn one. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah,
<laughs> like right. if it makes any sense. Right. It almost kind of reminds you of like a like a tractor trailer or like even like a freaking motorcycle. Well, the thing with that engine is they actually took that one out of the Freightliners. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Out of a Freightliner? Yeah. The, the oh, I did not get that sense when I was driving a freaking Freightliner. Oh no! All the metal shaking probably <laughs> drowned out the sound of the engine. Well, this bus is has like the same body as the Freightliners, but not the. <laughs> Conventional, it doesn't have like the, like the front. Door. Well, the freight liners that we had were old, they weren't old because we got them. They had like the square lights, like boxy, yeah, very, very boxy. The brake was that handle that yep. you had to push down. You don't like those? Some of the flat no, have that. because the mechanics would come along and tighten them up. Yep. And then you go and you know do your pre-trip drive them or whatever, and you couldn't even budge that. Number. And you're dealing nine times out of ten, right. you know the driver's a righty, right. and you're using your weak arm to push that shit down. It is, it was not fun. And I used to threaten some mechanics, like the lock guys or whatever. I used to threaten, them, don't touch my goddamn brake, don't right. touch it, <laughs> don't touch. Yes, I have it exactly where I like it. And I've always had a bus route with a lot of stops and I'm not one to not use my brake, you know, my e-brake. So yep. I use it religiously, you know. You don't use it, right? You use your e-brake? Mm -hmm. When you, my bus driver doesn't, she just brakes and then puts her reds out. Really? She doesn't put that. I don't know, like I, I, I just feel I have to. I have to, just in case, God forbid something happens, like, no, I'm using it. Well, I also have a different type of bus that you guys never probably drove. What? It's a, they're Thomas, like these buses, but they're, um, they're conventionals. So they're the newer Freightliners. Do they look kind of like a Lego bus? Yeah. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. Is that what they are? They're like that? They look like a big spaceship. Okay. They have like a big window that's like super tall. Yes, yes. That's the kind of bus I ride. Oh, okay. Good. I was in one, I did um, cross country Yep. Um, a few weeks ago. And one of the drivers, obviously you're gonna have like a hundred friggin' buses there. And one of the drivers, I think he was from Cheshire or something. Yep. Very, very friendly. And he's like, you wanna come check out my bus? You know. <laughs> he was boasting? And, you know, I was like, yeah, sure, you know, I've never been on a bus, that kind of a bus. Right. So I was like, yeah, sure, I'll come and check it out. I was really impressed. It, <laughs> I feel like it's not a very driver-friendly bus. Is it weird? Like, the whole dash is, like, slanted? Yeah. And, and like, no place to put a coffee? Like, no. Nope. It's a problem. <laughs> <laughs> is this bus after photos? Nope. Actually, ride a, actually, I did ride a bus today. I did a field trip. Oh, where'd you go? We went to Yukon. Oh. For chemistry. Oh, no kidding. That was a good time. I figured that my, my bus driver was the one that did the trip, so oh. <laughs> I wasn't on a different bus, but. Were there a lot of kids that went? Uh, yeah. Oh. We had two buses full. Oh, no kidding. Yeah. You actually might know the bus driver. Her name is Miss. I, I liked her, but yeah. I used to bump into them because my daughter was on a dance competition team, yep. and I, we used to bump into them at different competitions. I always very polite, like angel child. Yeah. Too, because they live at an apartment complex. 
constantly go off and the lot mechanic was not very helpful and didn't really care. So I started jamming paper towels in there yep. to keep it from going off the entire freaking two hours I was driving.
it's got to be something about the contract or or the fact that Cheney's a fairly popular school, you know, for kids. Well, Cheney, that, that was packed. Oh, and now it's two buses, whereas it used to only be one. See? And then when it kind of grew, um, it was like a full-size bus and a minibus. And then a few years ago, it changed to two full-size buses.
right on my lap and it was so cold. <laughs> Yeah. 